Hi everyone, this is Coach Fierros, your physical education teacher, and this is Gear Related Fitness Components Lesson 7. This lesson is on page 18 of the Gear Related Fitness Components packet. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to learn different ways to show coordination in different sports, and you're also going to do your own research by finding different ways to show coordination in different sports. Now, coordination enables a person to perform various movements gracefully and easily. In other words, whenever you are using multiple body parts at the same time to do a specific activity or exercise, that means that you're doing coordination. For example, there are two different types of coordination that are mostly common, hand-eye coordination and foot-eye coordination. Whenever you're using your hands and your eyes at the same time to do a specific activity or exercise, that means that you are doing hand-eye coronation, and also foot-eye coronation is using your feet and your eyes at the same time. Now, there are different examples of coronation in different sports. I'm going to show you those examples right now. Now, one of them is pitching the ball to the hitter when it comes to playing baseball, serving a ball over the low net when it comes to playing volleyball, and hitting the ball with a paddle when it comes to either playing table tennis or pickleball. I'm going to show you those video examples right now. Let's start with baseball. When it comes to pitching, you need hand-eye coordination. You're using your eyes and your hands at the same time in order to pitch the ball. Now remember, you're using your eyes also to also see what where the catcher is giving you signals in order to where to pitch the ball to. Basically, as a pitcher, your goal is to strike out your opponent. Serving a ball over the low net. Now, this is a low net right here. It could be also in volleyball, but also in pickleball. This is a game of pickleball. In pickleball, it is required that you use hand-eye coronation. Hitting a ball with a paddle is also hand-eye coronation. For example, in table tennis. In volleyball, serving a ball over the high net also requires hand-eye coronation. Hitting a wiffle ball with a paddle and pick a ball is also an example of hand-eye coronation and also crossover hand dribbling over a defender. We used these examples already before. Now in volleyball, however, as you can see right here in this top video, serving a ball can also require hand-eye coronation, using your hands and your eyes at the same time to do in a specific skill. In basketball, dribbling is also an example of hand-eye coordination. Shooting the ball is also an example of hand-eye coordination. Dabs and punches against an opponent in boxing can also be an example of coronation. Foot dribbling against a defender in soccer can also be an example of coronation. And driving a car in a competitive race when it comes to auto racing can also be an example of coronation. Let's look at these video examples, starting with boxing.
as you can see right here, okay, throwing jabs and punches and also knocking out your opponent can also be an example of coordination. Foot dribbling in soccer can also be an example of hand uh, foot eye coordination. It takes a lot of practice to foot dribble, okay? But not only foot dribble, but also to avoid the ball getting stolen by the defender. Again, this is foot eye coordination. And then, see? It requires a lot of hand eye coordination, especially when you are using the steering wheel. Okay, and also knowing where you're going when it comes to auto racing. Now you're going to complete page 18 on your skill related fitness components packet. When you are done, move on to the lesson 8 video. Thanks for watching.